<clears throat> okay, so this is going to be the first tutorial on XNA 3D programming. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a model in 3ds Max. We're then going to load it into the game. And we're going to have it display in the game. And we're also going to have it rotate in the game. So to start this off, we're going to do uh, right above load content, we're going to create two new variables model player and float aspect ratio. And in here, we're going to say model or no, just player equals content dot load. And the reason we put model in here is because that's the type that we're loading in. Player. And because I don't want to have to use aspect ratio, I don't want to have to use um, graphics device dot viewport dot aspect ratio every time. I'm going to create a variable that will hold that value for the entire game, so I won't have to do that anymore. I'll just it'll just be there as aspect ratio. And so in a second here, we're going to go to 3ds Max and we're going to make a model. Okay, here we are in 3ds Max. Um, going to create a box. Really simple model, remember? I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. It's a coding tutorial, not a modeling tutorial. So we're going to create a box. Let's try to make it even. Even-ish, at least. Convert it to an edible mesh. Okay. Convert to edible, or edible poly. Is what we're gonna I'm going to just extrude some random stuff. Make him look weird. I'm going to give him a hat. Gonna bevel, bevel or whatever. Do it again. And so the guy's head is a box and he has a hat. And we're gonna get in the bottom view here. We'll extrude. Extrude it. And this is the worst model I've ever made, but that's okay, because it's Pretty pretty shitty, I'm not gonna lie. Um <laughs> Alright. So I don't know if you can see this. Sorry, it's not doing the whole thing. I'm gonna create a cylinder. Wow, this is such a good model. Um We're gonna move the cylinder over there. Try to make it look like he has feet. You know, this is the worst model ever. Clone it. Give him a second foot. Or peg, whatever the hell that thing is. And there you go. So, the most beautiful model ever. Look at him. He's so pretty. I would date that guy. He is pretty hot. Um, so now we have that. We're going to export him. And the window here that you can see now. I already had a player dot X. I was making before, but I was gonna show you guys how to basic model. So, I'm gonna save that. So we have made the model now. Um, give me a second. We're gonna go back to Visual Studio. Okay, guys, we're back now. Um, so what we're gonna do is, since we had just added that models folder directory, remember that? We're gonna change this to models slash player. That way, it'll know not to look just in the regular directory. It's gonna look in the subdirectory models now. So the hardest part of the game now is coming, or the hardest part of the programming now is going to come up. We need to actually project everything in the correct way. So we're going to make a vector three camera position, camera pulse equals uh, new vector three. We're going to say zero, fifty, and five thousand. Now we're going to do vector three player pulse equals vector three dot zero. And finally, we're going to say float model rot for model rotation equals 0f. We're done with that. And so those are the parameters we're going to be using. And now we're going to draw the, uh, the model. So we're going to say matrix. We're going to make an array of matrices. And it's going to be matrix array transforms equals new matrix array. 
and it's going to be oh sorry player dot model or dot bones dot count is that and then after that we're going to say player dot copy absolute bones transforms to and clearly the transforms are going to use the list we just made or the array we just made now in the co this is comments you guys should know what comments is if you've programmed it all we're going to draw the model and to do this we're going to say for each model mesh mesh in player dot meshes and then after that we're going to have for each basic effect effects in mesh dot effects and now we're going to start begin the identity or identity matrix and all these types of matrix we're going to begin the hard stuff so effects dot enable default lighting and it's a void so we put the parentheses around and next we have effects dot world world is a type of matrix it's a world matrix it's going to equal transforms uh, mesh dot parent bone dot index and we're going to multiply that by matrix dot create rotation y and that rotation y is going to be our model rotation right that thing we made before our model rot oh and that's a little bit off screen so I'll do that and multiply it again after the model rotation by the matrix dot create translation and that is going to be the model position which I named player position not model position that's why it's not showing up it's player position okay so this is the first part is gone the world view is gone so now we're gonna do the view matrix which is going to be fx dot view equals matrix dot create oh create look at and the look at is going to be our camera position right because that's what we want to see the world through the camera vector 3 dot 0 is going to be the target because that's where our player is oh dot 0 it's going to be our target uh, and then we're going to have vector 3 dot up as the up vector because if we had it as down then when we tried to look up we'd look down and that's not what we want finally our projection matrix which basically makes it so the camera's not looking incorrectly. It's kind of hard to explain. Take a programming class if you want to know more. We're going to create the perspective field of view, which is going to be uh, math helper to radians. And we're going to do 45F. That comma's barely on screen. Uh, aspect ratio, which remember was that value we made before. So I don't have to say graphics device dot viewport dot uh, aspect ratio and then we're going to do 1 and 10,000 for those two values oops not lock just semicolon and yeah we're done so now what we need to do is draw mesh using code above which is literally just mesh dot draw and as we run the game you can see that our model is there he's right there if you are having errors such as you can't see your model it might be because he's too big or if he's too small if you do that go to the content uh, click on your right click on your um, player model and then go to content processor hit the plus button and change the scale now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him rotate we're gonna say model rote plus equals game time dot elapsed game time dot milliseconds times math helper dot two radians let's do point oh no point one for now point one f because it's now what's gonna happen is that he should spin very slowly not so slowly but he's still spinning and if you want to make him go crazy do like ten and then he's gonna have way too much fun Yep, he's having too much fun, as you can see. Way too much fun. Or you can make him a poor loser. Give him 0 .0001.
And he can spin like a loser. Look at that, you can barely even tell he's spinning. Ha! What a fatty. Okay. And that's it for my first tutorial. And next time, hopefully, we'll get to using user input to make your guy move. And that will be pretty fun, won't it? So thanks, this has been Blowout Production. And I uh, hope to uh, help you guys make more games. Okay, so we're back in Visual Studio. And I know this is weird because all you can see is this bar here. But we're going to hit content, add, existing item, that player we just made, find it, add it. And I actually like to keep mine organized. So what we're going to do is we're also going to add a new folder. We're going to call it Models. And we're going to put player.x in the models. And one second, and we're going to go back to the coding section. 